Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new, welcome to Mocha's World. So today we're going to be making DIY waffles, three ways. So I'm going to just scoop a little bit of vanilla ice cream on there. I have my bottle of red velvet Baileys here. So I'm going to just drizzle a little bit on there. Look at that rich goodness. And I'm going to just top that with a little bit of powdered sugar. All right, so let's give that a taste. So the waffle is still warm, so the ice cream melted really fast here. Mmm. So refreshing. Mm. 
and the bay leaves really gives it a nice flavor. This is so perfect for hot summer days. Mmm. 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 This is so delicious. The peaches are nice and sweet and fresh, and the waffle is very tasty. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The cinnamon really just adds a really nice finishing to the flavor. Mm. So I have my soaked fruits here. Check out my video on how I made this. Mm. It smells so good. It's soaked with rum and wine. So I'm going to just spread some on here. This would go great with some vanilla ice cream, but I have some whipped cream here. Let me just spread that. I'm going to sprinkle some powdered sugar on top of that. So let's taste it. Mm. So good. You taste the crispiness of the waffle and the richness of the soaked fruits. The whipped cream and the powdered sugar just balances it out nicely. Mm. Place it in some baking paper, then in a freezer safe plastic bag. Several days later, I defrosted it at room temperature and now I'm going to just toast it up in a frying pan. So there you have it guys, DIY waffles three ways. You can also top these waffles with your favorite jams or jellies, your favorite fruits, and even with a little butter and cinnamon and sugar. Or it could be topped with savory toppings such as cheese, or even use it to make a mini pizza. There are so many options. Delicious.
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about new episodes. Thanks for watching.